Toyota Prize is an international award given by the Inamori Foundation, honouring those who have contributed significantly to the scientific, cultural and spiritual betterment of humankind. And since 2017, we've been able to bring the award to Oxford at the Blavatnik School of Government. It's been great to welcome the public into the Blavatnik School. They enjoy hearing from the laureates and, and they also enjoy coming in and seeing the building. The award is given in three categories, advanced technology, basic science and arts and philosophy. Well, I'm just incredibly uh, honoured and uh, I feel fortunate to be here. I was thrilled to share some of our very recent work. It's really kind of, it's cheesy, but inspirational to be around someone that's come up with such an incredible technology that now everyone uses and the thought that they kind of did the same progression as all of us coming to listen, it's really amazing. Dr. Kashiwara from Japan. He is a very well-known mathematics professor in Japan. Before coming to here, I didn't have any chance to meet with him. So, yeah, I think it's good. The Kyoto Prize are quite fantastic and amazing. I was so surprised when I got it. I enjoyed the Ruskin School. I enjoyed visiting and the students seemed great. And the two young artists who teach there that I met, I really enjoyed talking to them. It was such a pleasure and honor having Joan Jonas come to the Ruskin and come to Oxford. And her talk was really inspirational, both to myself as a PhD student, as well as a whole host of younger artists who are also at the school. The Kyoto Prize is really helping to underscore the importance of the arts in academia. So there was one brilliant moment in the uh, panel that we've just heard where all three of our laureates were asked, did you ever think of giving up? And not a single one of them had ever thought of giving up. Drive, commitment, confidence in what you're doing. Fantastic. The dinner last night was fantastic, the traditional Japanese dinner. It was a kaiseki, which is a, a multi-course Japanese feast created by one of the leading Japanese chefs working today, Chef Daisuke Hayashi. And it took place in one of Oxford's architectural jewels, the 15th century Divinity School. So dinner was a feast for both the taste buds and for the eyes. Oxford and the Kyoto Prize share this real commitment to excellence and to the pursuit of truth. That's what our academics are doing and that's what the Kyoto laureates are doing. The world is complex and beautiful and there are a lot of mysterious questions out there. So I, in some ways I feel like we're just beginning.